ป็นเป็นโซ่ hello once again everyone to my studio and I'm so sorry for the delay I'm trying to apply to different schools so I was busy with the Uh, different application tasks, and I've made a few commercials as well. So I couldn't uh, put too much time on on making videos, but I'm here now again. Uh, and this is part two of uh, how it's uh, how my going fishing animation was made, uh, and this will be the last part as well. Uh, so this time I will show you the fire, and I will show you. Hold up. Ooh. And the water. So we are going to start with the the fire. And I want to show you how I made the flames because many of you are wondering how I made the sparks Ooh, jump out of the fire. This is just a. A solid piece of uh, paper, and at the top I got some outlines showing the sparks. And if you remember how I edited things in uh, Photoshop, uh, you'll need a a blank layer and a layer with the uh, with the flame. And then it's easy to just erase uh, the paper between the sparks and the paper between the sparks and the flame uh, to make it look like uh, the sparks are jumping out of the flame. I also needed a flame to uh, go like whoosh, or to uh, to expand or to explode and to make that possible I had to make some smaller pieces of of fire and this is the the first frame super duper small and the second one looks like this right there and the third one like this And the fourth and last one is almost a complete flame. And when things move rapidly or uh, it moves really fast in stop motion, you can get away with quite a lot. Like if you see here, uh, 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 this here is the the last frame of the the growing flame, uh, and this right here is the the first frame of uh, a full grown flame. So. It's a uh, quite some difference, but you can get away with it uh, if uh, things move fast. All of these flames are uh, are numbered as well, uh, so I got a bunch of them, and I think they are numbered from one to thirteen. Uh, and we can take a look at the back side. This is the first one, and number two, the second one. And all the way up to number 13. So this loop consists of the 13 different flames. Because it is a loop, uh, the frame 13 or the last flame and the first flame uh, fits together. So when you've used all the 13 flames, you can just uh, go back to the first one, and then you can just uh, uh, loop the sequence in your uh, video editor. So I had to figure out how to make the, the fire levitate above my small fireplace, uh, like like this. Uh, so I made this small small wire invention with a small piece of plastic at the end, uh, and on this small piece of plastic I took some tape. So I wanted a, a sticky but not too sticky flat surface. Uh, so I took some masking tape uh, and as you can see here the flames will stay in place but it's easy to just replace them so you won't uh, you won't uh, bend the wire or uh, anything like that and now when you have the 
the wire invention and the five place ready it's just to place the wire where you want it and look at the number of the flame and place it on the tape like this oh like this and you're done and once you have the all the replacements the this is the the fastest way to to animate something so just take a photo replace and take a photo quick and easy so the last thing I'm gonna show you is how I made the uh, the water bucket So this is my my well made out of uh, small stones uh, glued together and uh, some painted small pieces of wood and my my bucket of water Wah! and the bucket is made out of painted foam board uh, with some small incisions so I can make this uh, uh, round shape and inside is the water and the water is made, it's a mix of uh, Fimo clay and Cernit clay. So the water is actually just a, a thin layer of clay uh, on top of some aluminum foil. And the uh, aluminum foil is just to fill up the rest of the bucket and uh, uh, to make it easier for me to replace the clay. Because I, I just scooped the clay up between each frame, scooped it up re-sculpted it and then put it back in between each frame. I also drilled a big big hole in the table Ooh. Uh, so I destroyed my table just to to make it easier uh, whoa yes to make it easier for me to turn the handle without the rope uh, tangling or uh, the rope to curl up uh, like this so I can just keep turning the, the handle without uh, messing up the rope okay so the most important part here is that I animated my my hand and the bucket of water separately so uh, the line goes somewhere along this uh, piece of wood and I could go like frame 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 uh, on this side without uh, thinking too much about this side and then when I was done here I could focus solely on the bucket of water instead so the thing is that I wanted the bucket of water to sway back and forth when uh, coming up from the well and the water to splash from side to side inside the bucket uh, and I wouldn't be able to do that if I animated everything in one shot so I choose to make it uh, separately uh, had I not I would be forced to leave the handle between each frame to move the clay and then I would have to try and find the uh, the ex uh, exact same pose again just to crank it a little bit and then try to go back and fix the clay and that would be impossible so I choose to make it separately. So I had to come up with a way to to make the bucket sway back and forth like this, uh, frame by frame. Uh, so I wanted something to come up from underneath to keep the bucket steady, uh, steady enough so I could go in and uh, take out the clay uh, without moving the bucket. So my solution was some, some wire glued on the underside of the table with some clay attached to it and then I just took down the bucket like this and tried to attach the bucket to the clay oh, like this and this made it super easy to just move the clay from side to side frame by frame uh, and it was it was sturdy enough to uh, uh, for me to uh, to take out the the water in the bucket and re-sculpt it and uh, place it back in. 
So we have our homemade well in place and we have our bucket with water uh, and underneath I don't know if this is gonna work but I can ooh, like this and we have our support underneath to hold the bucket in place uh, and I will try to show you how I how I re-sculpted the, uh, the water. So remember the aluminum foil because that makes it easier for me to just take out the clay and re-sculpt it between each frame. And I try to make a splashy form, kind of, to make it look like the water is just splashing from side to side when the, when the bucket moves from side to side and it could look like something like this uh, and this is how I made uh, every single frame so I moved the bucket a few millimeters to the left and took out the clay like this re-sculpted it Put it back in and move the bucket like this and it took time but uh, this is one of my uh, favorite sequences so this one was like not that hard to make but it took some time uh, to get it right but when you you had the support and you animated the, the hand and the bucket separately it was uh, quite easy so that's all actually for this time uh, and I really hope you like these how it was made videos and I really hope you got something out of it because I I want to get better at it and I want to show you more of how I make things and animate uh, so this is kind of fun thank you again for everything and I see you soon okay bye